Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss about the first and the only forensic science university in the world. Can you just give a guess where it is? It is in India. Surprising, isn't it? The first forensic science university was established at Gandhinagar, very close to Ahmedabad in Gujarat. This was in the year of 2010, known as Gujarat Forensic Sciences University. But later in the year of 2020, there was a law passed in the parliament. As per the parliament act, the Gujarat Forensic Science University was converted into National Forensic Sciences University of India, which is popularly known as NFSU. And today NFSU comes under Ministry of Home Affairs and also it is recognized as Institute of National Importance. NFSU has got about 10 campuses, 9 of them in India including one in the overseas that is in Africa and Uganda. NFSU offers very fascinating and exciting 35 programs in forensic science. And more importantly, they offer the degree mix which has everything but within forensic science. For example, student could pursue B.Tech, M.Tech, B.A, M.A, B.A.C, M.Sc and also B.B.A, M.B.A and also Law in Forensic Science. Very interesting, isn't it? NFSU focuses on three core areas. One is on the forensic science as such. They focus on digital forensics, cyber securities, criminology, forensic justice, policy studies and etc. And also they focus on behavioral studies. Within behavioral studies, they offer forensic psychology and clinical pathology. And the third most important thing is they focus on the research and development, R&D within forensic science and whereby all the improvements and developments within forensic science is undertaken. Before we discuss in detail about NFSU, I thought it is important to come back to you with all those feedbacks that I compiled from those students who passed out of NFSU in the past years. I think it is worthwhile having a look at them. One common thing that they say is any student who is interested in pursuing forensic science, NFSU is the go-to institute. And apart from that, they highlight on multiple areas, which includes academics, laboratories, about the faculties, and also about internships, the campus as such, and more importantly, the placement. When it comes to academics, you know, they highlight the course mix that they have, as I informed to you. So diversified. And because of this high course mix, and there are also diversified, you know, companies that come for placement. And they talk very highly about you know academics basically because the university works very closely with the industry and whereby they also keep coming out with changes in the syllabus they keep modifying you know the course content introduce new degrees and also courses and so on and so forth which meets out the industry requirement in forensic science is all those courses and degrees that are offered are looked at 10 years ahead and it is all being designed very interesting isn't it and second important thing the students talk about the laboratory facilities in NFSU. The best of you know labs with respect to forensic science even in Asia. They have the first Asia's cyber defense center which is established within the university. They also have the Asia's first ballistics testing center. And this testing center is basically to test about the bulletproof materials. Say it could be the jackets, the helmets armored vehicles, tires, metal plates, glasses and so on. And making use of these facilities, lot of industry also go there and work and collaborate with the universities. And more importantly, they also talk very high about the faculties. Faculties have a very long experience and also have a deep domain expertise with respect to forensic science. Just imagine, those students who get to have an opportunity to work with these professors, they will have a very high, rich, you know, learning experience. And the fourth important thing is they talk about the internship opportunities. Wherein the university has a tie-up with multiple laboratories which is focusing on forensic science worldwide. The students have the opportunity to pursue this internship collaborating with the foreign students and fulfilling their internship you know, requirements. And the next most important thing what the students talk about the campus. And you know you will find some activities going on every day. Some expert talks are there, some exhibitions are there, some you know forums are there and so on and so forth. And more importantly 
the campus has students from all states and not only within the India and also they attract students from outside of country which means the campus has students of different states and as well as students from different countries. It's a huge culture to experience and to have a good peer group there. And finally, they talk about the placements. And one important point that I was very impressed about was that a lot of multinational companies that come in and looking for students of different you know, expertise, such as Ernst & Young, PricewaterhouseCoopers, which is known as PwC, KPMG, Deloitte and so on. These are all big multinational companies who are into auditing and as well as into consulting. And you will normally find these companies visiting only bigger institutes for recruitment such as you know IITs and IIMs. A student who is pursuing from any normal college, it's a distant dream to get into these companies. And wherein, if you are at NFSU, you have a very high chances of getting into these auditing and consulting firms. Why? Because they come looking forward to expertise from these institute students who are pursued in forensic science because they focus on forensic accounting and fraud investigation and thereby they come and pick up students who have completed these courses. Also the IT companies and they look at students again for cyber security expertise and as well as digital forensic science. And all the banks, they also go and pick up students from the institute which again focuses on you know uh, forensic accounting and fraud investigation. Similarly, there are also other companies which focus on intelligence and investigations and they go and pick up students there. Likewise, at least 50-60 companies every year visit the campus and everybody has an opportunity to you know pursue and get a good job. So this is, these are the feedback that I receive from you know the students. And now let us look at the course mix what the NFSU offers. As I told you, the courses are so exciting. In same forensic, you have multiple degrees, which is very unique. Exception. The courses include B.Tech and M.Tech in cyber security and as well as in forensic digital. And then you have B.A. M.A. in criminology, B.Sc. M.Sc. in forensic science and B.B.A. M.B.A. again in forensic science and also law. As I told you, B.Sc. L.L.B. in forensic justice and policy studies. Similarly, one can also pursue their doctoral programs in behavioral science as I mentioned to you before, forensic psychology and clinical pathology, whereby they also indulge in psycho-legal consulting, you know, expertise and so on. So these are the course mix that are available here. Now coming to the campus, there are about 10 campus and out of which I wanted to focus on five campus which has got dual degree programs. If you look at it, the Gandhinagar campus, they have about six dual degree programs to offer and so is in Delhi. The Delhi campus offers four dual degree programs. And then you have Dharwad, which has about two dual degree programs and Tiribura and Goa, which offers each, you know, one of dual degree programs. And if you look at any courses, which would accommodate not less than about 40 students or so. That way you have so many different degrees and so many campuses, there are a lot to offer to the students. Now let us look at the admission process. Now NFSU conducts its own entrance exam, which is known as NFAT, National Forensic Admission Test, conducted by NTA. Now coming to the examination pattern, NFAT is conducted for one and a half hours, that is 90 minutes. And the number of questions asked is about 100. And it is a computer based examination, which is MCQ type of questions. And the marking schemes, there is a negative marking in it. And you will have for all the right answers plus one mark and minus 0.25 for all the wrong answers. This is the examination pattern. So the syllabus are different for each degrees. For example, if you take BTEC, MTEC program, 80% of your questions comes from physics, chemistry and mathematics. And what you need to prepare? You have to prepare the same as what you prepare for JE main. And the balance 20% of the questions are from logical reasoning, English grammar and general knowledge. And the same way, if you look at BSc, MSc, about 70% of the questions comes from physics, chemistry and biology. And also little bit of mathematics and little bit of basics in computer science. And the balance 30% is in logical reasoning, 
English grammar and as well as general knowledge. That way, if you look at the syllabus for BA, MA, 100% of the questions comes from logical reasoning, English grammar and general knowledge. And if you take BBA, MBA, the syllabus is nothing but more in mathematics, which they call it as quant. And then you have DALR, data interpretation and logical reasoning, which is nothing but business max. So this two areas would comprise of most questions. When it comes to a law degree, that is your BSc LLB, there is no NFAT. You have to keep this in mind. All you have to do is go and appear for your CLAT examination, that is common law admission test and secure your mark and rank from CLAT and then make a separate application into NFSU for your law degree in forensic science. I hope this video was very useful to you. I shall come back to you with another important video. Until then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.